Hello, everyone. Thanks um, for taking the time to attend this session. Uh, this is a research effort of uh, Tecmex. Um, the, the presentation that we are going to be looking today is Mexico Open Source Contribution. My name is Alex Gonzalez, and I just said Tecmex is the nonprofit organization that helps Mexican engineers to raise. A brief introduction of myself um, is that I'm I'm of, uh, one of those who has studied 100% in Mexico, got my college degree uh, there and my master's in CENIDET, which is a research center, and have been lucky to work for American companies, companies such as EMC, Gesang, Raudera, and Parallel Staff, and a sourcing company. Now, I had contributed in open source encryption systems and had reported and coordinated the resolution of more than 200 security issues on third party libraries for the entire Hadoop ecosystem. Um, through different components such as Hive, uh, Sentry, Ranger, Atlas, and more. Also, dozens of our, dozens uh, of security issues being coordinated and resolved for Cloudera's proprietary code. Um, now, let's start with the the challenge that we have in Mexico. Uh, the challenge is to promote open source contributions uh, by Mexican developers. Uh, you will see in a second in the next slide that uh, Software Guru, the most important software digital magazine in Mexico, uh, had driven a um, survey where the question was, if you are in Latin America but you and you use but do not contribute to open source projects, what's the reason? And the answers from the developers is, uh, the, 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 main, the main reason is that they don't feel they have the skills, they don't know, as a second reason, they don't know how to contribute there is no information in Spanish, and they don't, or they don't work for free. That's the the, the categories that we were doing that. So um, this is the challenge, and this is the problem that we are stating, and uh, we are taking steps. And I'm going to show you at the end of the presentation um, what are steps taken. Now, what are what can you expect from this presentation? I'm going to show you who's who from Mexico is working on open source, what projects are Mexicans contributing to, and how you can help. Some statistics, some general statistics, um, is that over the past year, um, 10 million new developers have joined the GitHub community, and they are contributing to 44 million repositories and 80% of them, 80% of the contributors are not, uh, or are contributing outside of the United States. So this last uh, statistic, um, I like it because it shows that open source projects belong to everybody and nobody at the same time. Maybe we should name it as quantum source if you get it. Now, in this uh, slide, I'm showing you what are the, the most popular Mexico open source projects. Um, today, by the end of the day, you will have on the on Twitter, if you follow Tegmex Austin, these slides. So these links are going to be available to you. To you. And uh, the ones that I picked are the ones that I'm going to talk about right now. The first one is Ara. In short, this is a framework that helps to create a front end. Uh, by decomposing it through micro apps or micro front-end services such as network overload, issues resolution, banners display, uh, page refresh, etc. The second one that I picked uh, to talk about is Drupal Console. And uh, this is a CLI suite of tools to generate boilerplate code. Boilerplate are sections of code that have to be included in many places with uh, little or no alteration. As you can see, um, this is a very popular project with multiple or millions of downloads, uh, multiple releases, and multiple contributors. The top three contributors that uh, uh, this uh, project has are Jesus, Eduardo, and Omar. You can see the one at the top, which is Jesus. He has multiple stars. He's a well-recognized uh, contributor as well as has several uh, followers. Now, in total, it's the next project that I want to talk about. The name is funny because in total, if you kind of translate it to Spanish, 
means in everything. And that's pretty much what uh, Intoto does. So this is a framework to secure the integrity of software supply chain, uh, chains. It does so by verifying that the that each of the tasks in the chains are carried out as planned. And it uses and has um, a project lead for each of the chains and also uses fingerprints for each of the steps. So it's kind of like a workflow validation. The next one that I wanna talk about is the, the, the update framework, which is another Mexican, another project where Mexican developers contribute to. Um, this is a framework that helps developers to maintain the security of software update systems, providing protection even against attackers that compromise the repository or signing keys. This is hosted by Linux Foundation and is used by important companies such as uh, Cloudflare, Docker, DigitalOcean, IBM, Microsoft, VMware, etc. Um, there, there is uh, also Apache Guacamole. The name is, it's a funny name. Uh, this is a client-less remote desktop gateway. Just a brief mention. Uh, the government is also contributing to open source. Um, I'm gonna mention two organizations, orga uh, government organizations. The first one is the Genomic Medicine National Institute. This one has 40 repositories and some of the repositories or projects are related to data science projects with R, genomic algorithms implementation, and also statistic calculation. The next one is um, Open Mexico or Mexico Abierto, which has um, 207 repositories on GitHub, and the projects are related to metadata validations, um, engines for MongoDB, also has uh, data access points for government uh, data sets. And as well, it has Ansible playbooks to deploy CEPH or CEP, uh, which is a distributed file system. Now, um, there is a site called commits.top, which is uh, gathering information about the main committers around the world. And in the top 10, based on their uh, stars and the number of followers, um, you can find Carlos Toshtli. Carlos Toshtli is listed with 6,000 commits, around 6,000 commits in the last year. He created a repository where he was uh, actually uh, automating the commits for for reasons in, in, a, in a repository, in a public repository. That's why he has a lot, but it's worth to mention him since he has multiple followers as well as uh, uh, has been active in more than a thousand repositories. Um, in the same website, which is commit uh, commits.top, you can find that um, um, it's listed per country, which are the, 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 the contributors, the top comp contributors, uh, in two different views. One is the independent developers uh, that are in, on GitHub, and you can find Zero Dragon with 10,000. You will see in a second why 10,000. This guy did something really interesting. And um, Carlos, of course, is there, Carlos Tochtli that I just mentioned. And in the top 20, I was very happy to see that we have a woman, which is uh, Elizabeth Villalejos. Elizabeth is a full stack software engineer uh, and she works with React, JavaScript, Ruby, Ruby, Redux, and Ruby and Reds. As I said, in a different view, in the same uh, commits the top, you can find uh, Victor Alfredo, who I'm gonna talk about in a second, Zero Dragon, and on the, on the right side of this slide, you can see the organizations that they are part of or members of, such as Wiseline, uh, Michelada, Golang MX, at the very bottom, you can see Open Mexico, MX Abierto. Now, this is what I was talking about in regards to Zero Dragon. This guy on the top right of your screen, you can see that there's a repo called Git Drawing, and he automated uh, his commits in order to draw 
the the Martian, the mushroom, the heart, and his signature, which is Ziggy. It, it was super fun for me. Now, here it is, um, Victor, Victor Torres. As, um, as you can see, and uh, based on his description, profile description or bios, you can see that he says that um, whatever people say I am, that's what I am not. So I'm gonna let the numbers speak by themselves. You can see that he has several stars and followers. And uh, while I was doing this, this research, I noticed that on his repositories, the, his areas or interest of interest uh, or the ones that he has contributed are particle detector algorithms. SpaceX REST API is also in his repositories. He, he has ported um, several repos of mathematical algorithms that I'm not even going to mention because I those are way beyond my understanding. And the previews that I mentioned are independent contributors, but there is another model which are people that get hired by companies uh, to contribute um, or solve the customer issues. And this is the case of uh, Sergio Peña. Sergio Peña is a member of Technex as well. And he works for Confluent. Um, he contributes to the project KSQL or Kafka SQL for streaming. And in the past, he has worked uh, at Cloudera and he became a PMC of Sentry and PMC of Hi, one, um, the, another contribution that Sergio and I worked together with was uh, Navigator Encrypt, which is a Linux kernel uh, encryption system that sits on top of FreeCryptFS and DMCrypt, um, which is a, a really, really interesting project. Um, worth to mention as well that we have another member in Techmex that participates uh, as a contributor of uh, Firefox, he has been working several years with his uh, collaboration, and his name is Alex Mallorca. Now, if, uh, if in this heat map, you can see the people that has marked themselves as available for hire on GitHub. As you can see, there are several people or several contributors uh, of Mexico based on this heat map. Uh, if you are lucky, you can maybe hire any of the ones that I just mentioned, including me. Um, yeah. Now, I'm gonna talk about the active communities that uh, are in Mexico. Uh, I'm not gonna mention all of them in this slide. As again, if you want to check this out and follow the links, you these are, these are, this is gonna be available on Twitter following um, Techmex Austin. And I picked some of these, which are the ones that I wanna talk about. First one is uh, GNU Linux Mexico. They have several activities uh, and webinars on meetups, such as the SE Linux on, the, on yellow, listed over here that happened uh, last May. Um, it's a very active community. Also, there is LabSol, which is an open source lab. Um, this one has 10 branches around Mexico in different cities. There is uh, 216 open source projects created. Um, it, 44 universities have contributed, and there is more than 500 students listed as contributors. Um, the next one is awesome. Um, also means uh, bear in Spanish and this is open source Mexico. And the, the culture that they have is open source first. Uh, they have uh, several meetups from meetup.com that I'm gonna show in a second. And the, the, the next community that I'm mentioning here is the, the one from Tecnologico de Monterrey, which is one of the most, if not the most techie university uh, with the better uh, plans. And they have a very st uh, strong community for Linux. Now, I'm listing per city uh, the different meetups that we can find on meetup.com. 
and are related to uh, open source, such as open infrastructure is in Mexico City, CDMX is Mexico City. Um, there is also API addicts, um, and uh, there is also many Uber engineering events, uh, which, which we know that has some uh, open source uh, projects over there. And also in Guadalajara, which is the city of the mariachi and the tequila, we have also the open source Mexico. There is a meetup in particular, the one in blue, that is the, the open source meetup for, for Guadalajara. They also have interest in Jenkins. They have interest in uh, Linux um, and uh, Solar. If you, on, the, on the top right, you can see that Solar, Mahout as well are in, the, in there. So in Monterey, there is also op an open source meetup specific for that. They have interest in Jenkins. Um, and something that I like a lot from Monterey community or one of the meetups, and actually it's a great community, a big community, is the woman who code. This is probably the, the chapter that is more active in Mexico of women who code. Now, the... IBM and Tecnológico de Monterrey also offer support services uh, to Latin America uh, community in regards to multiple open source projects. The ones that are listed on your screen are the ones that they are uh, offering support services for. Now, this is the part where I'm gonna um, show you how you can help. Basically, in TechMex, we are making the efforts uh, to align the need of um, contributing into open source and getting and trying to educate and help into uh, into the Mexican community of uh, developers. Uh, so you can follow us on Twitter. That's one way. Second way is that um, you can participate in the different summits that we have there such as the Latin America Festival for open source installation, uh, open source software installation. This is FLISO. Um, one, uh, another important summit that we have is COS.org, which is Contrib Contributor Summit. And in particular, Contributor Summit has some specific goals this year, and this is gonna happen in October, 2020. Um, they are planning to select 20 open source projects, and for each of them, they are uh, planning to develop documentation guidelines in Spanish um, for contributing to open source projects. And also they are planning to host online workshops where committers guide participants. This is also gonna be an event, an, a virtual event. And the plan is to have new participants into making their first pull request and also uh, making their first commits. It's also desired to mentor and motivate participants to continue contributing in open source uh, projects. Um, it's uh, also, um, now that I'm mentioning the, the goals, the ultimate goals for this summit, that I've been in recently, and I didn't add that in the slides because it was after I, I shared with Linux Foundation, these slides. I've been talking with a university who is very interested in making their research efforts as open source uh, code. They are planning and making a plan to legacy or, or all projects make them uh, or submitting them or uploading them into, into GitHub as well. Um, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is a research effort done by TechMex, um, and I would like to show appreciation to Mara, Ismael, Sara, and Natalia, and Pedro. If you have any question, I will be open to see on the Q&A box, and uh, I appreciate your attention to this. If you don't have any question for now, that is not showing in my box, in my window, uh, you can find me on Slack. I will be here the four days, or you can find me on my Twitter, which is 
K-O-Z-L-E-X, Cosmics. Thank you so much.